The only man I was ever afraid of was a woman named Griselda Blanco. This opening quote from Pablo Escobar speaks volumes and perfectly sets up the tone for what's to follow. A powerful limited series from Netflix anchored by a highly impressive performance by Sofia Vergara. This might be a career defining performance from Vergara where she gets to show off her range as an actress. This might be the best performance I've seen from Sofia. The makeup and prosthetics alter her looks completely but the intensity of her performance still shines through. This is one of those instances where I personally feel that they definitely got the casting spot on. The show manages to take you on this journey as you explore Griselda's rise to power in the drug underworld, specifically in Miami. This is a fictionalization of a real story. It's not an accurate retelling of what actually happened. That's why they say it's inspired by real events. The show certainly doesn't hold back when it comes to the graphic nature of the drug underworld. It adds to the show's subject matter, making it feel more real and authentic and gritty. The fact that the show only runs for six episodes makes it feel more focused, especially in its storytelling. The show does well in capturing the 1970s era with its stunning cinematography. It's very grainy and grimy and also vintage set designs. So they did well with bringing this particular era to life on the small screen. Ultimately, it's an age old tale of how poor decision making can ultimately lead to your own demise, chasing power, getting to the top and it becomes so much that you can't stay there. A classic story of power, greed and betrayal, wanting more when you already have so much and pushing away the ones you love in the process. I feel like the story feels full circle and complete, which is quite an achievement for a show that only runs for six episodes. I find that they found that perfect balance. It's a familiar arc that we've seen multiple times in crime drama, but it's one of the reasons why we love these type of stories because it's so intriguing to watch how the whole thing unfolds. The first four episodes move at a rapid pace and I really enjoy that. It's intriguing to watch as we see her go from the struggle, ultimately gaining power. But I feel like the last part, you know, the last two episodes, it just slows down a little bit to a snail pace and I feel like that is the main criticism that I can have of the show like it didn't end as strong as it started off which is a bit of a letdown but it's another brilliant show from the same team that gave us Narcos so if you guys watch those shows this is definitely something that you guys are going to enjoy and even if you are not a fan of crime dramas, it's an intriguing watch. It's a great way to start off the year with such a strong television show. Normally, you don't get something of this quality so early in the year because it's January. So getting this early on in the year is definitely a nice surprise. It's a nice package TV show that I can highly recommend that you guys watch immediately. It's out right now on Netflix. Do yourself a favor. Don't miss this one. I can also see how the show might not be for everyone, especially the graphic violence that might be off-putting for some viewers. But if you want to see a great performance from an actress that absolutely loses herself in a role, Vergara does an amazing job here. And that is one of the reasons to watch the show. The direction, the focus storytelling, and it's a great show. You cannot afford to miss this one. And that's it for me, guys. Please let me know what you guys think of Griselda. Have you watched it? Are you going to watch it? I recommend that you do watch it. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, guys. And I will definitely catch you on the next one.